while uh, uh, countries are certainly having economic crises, there are uh, there is still that generosity of spirit for a humanitarian response. I think the other angle is we would like to see this appeal uh, being examined not just by the traditional donors, but maybe some uh, governments globally uh, that, that may want to, to help, and also maybe the private sector uh, would want to put this, uh, resources through this appeal, which has been um, developed in a very constructive uh, needs-based assessment is well assessed, it's thoroughly researched, uh, so we know we're putting the money where it's needed. Among the potential donors, um, who are the most responsive? I think there have been enormous contributions from our major donors, both bilaterally and multilaterally, um, here in the Philippines. Um, you, you're probably better to ask the Foreign Affairs Ministry, but we know uh, the US, the Spain, Australia, uh, New Zealand, Canada, um, all of these countries have responded and we know some other smaller countries have, have started to express some interest. Uh, the Scandinavian countries, uh, Finland for example, um, I'm sure will be uh, uh, continuing to, to respond. In terms of, financial, um, of generating funds and putting the mechanisms in place, are we now more systematic? I think we're a lot more systematic. Um, your foreign affairs ministry documents all bilateral uh, uh, donations coming in. Your government is very aware of, of what resources they put through. Um, we as the uh, humanitarian country team document all the assistance that comes through the multilaterals and through the non-governmental organizations. So we can, although that, that sounds like it's three, three parts of the, of the pie, uh, at least they're three coordinated parts of the pie, so we have a fairly clear picture of, of everything that's coming in. At the, at the national level, how about at the local level, ma'am? Um, does this um, trickle down the, the systems at least? The, the, this, I think the uh, under, under secretary for DSWD was referring to the fact that there are um, mechanisms in place for proper monitoring of resources that go to the local level. Um, and. Similarly, at the local level, the, um, the mayors have their own mechanisms for tracking funds. When I was in Iligan City uh, last uh, week, for example, the mayor referred to um, some online um, tools that they have where they actually, um, you know, the community, if they want to, can go and see for themselves the resources that are being put into different activities. Okay. And finally, um, this is six months, right? Six months target, the time frame. Six months time. Frame. Yeah, yeah. Um, no plan B. Not at this point in time. Yeah. Uh, the government is very opt optimistic. It will have uh, made a lot of progress on its uh, housing program. That will make such a difference. Um, if people can be resettled into their own homes, feel that their lives are going back to normal, um, that they can move on uh, without a humanitarian response. Thank you very much.